Hello everyone, today what we're going to look at is a bit about self-esteem and I think this is a really interesting topic because it underlies everything that we do in life and without self-esteem we're going to find that life becomes very trapping, we're going to feel very flat, we're going to feel like we're doing things just to please others or because we feel like we should. And so what I want to do is to help you guys develop what's called an unconditional positive self-regard which is basically high self-esteem and I think where we fall short on this is that we often look to try and develop self-esteem through being better or through getting the validation from the people that we love or that we care about or from our boss that we're doing well at work or that we feel like we're doing the right thing. Instead what I want to do is teach you guys how to come from a place of deeper unconditional self-love so that you can respond to the calling of your heart's desire. So here are some things that might help you understand whether you've got high self-esteem or not. The first thing is that are you critical about yourself and others? One of my favorite parts from the film The Mask We Live In says that judgment is just hating in others what we fear in ourselves. The second indicator is that when you're not at your best, when you're not being your best self, and when those things that you're scared of are actually happening, how are you talking to yourself? How are you treating yourself in those moments? The third thing is that how often are you checking in with your needs? The fourth thing is how worthy do you feel of those things that you need? How worthy do you feel of the things that you desire that you'd love to have for your life? And the fifth thing is that how good are you at setting boundaries around those things that you love, around those desires? Are you protective of those? Are you able to say no to other people and disappoint other people in order to look after yourself? So hopefully now you're thinking, ah, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually not very good at this thing or actually, yeah, like I'm, I'm missing a little part of myself here. So here are five easy ways in which you can develop high self-esteem. The first one, which I absolutely love, is so simple and it's about starting a morning routine. How many of you are waking up in the morning and checking your phone? You're either looking at messages from people, responding to false emergencies or the needs of others, or maybe you're going through Instagram or Facebook and you're unconsciously or consciously comparing your life, your beauty, your well-being, what you're doing with those of others on social media. What I ask you to do now is to not look at your phone first thing in the morning, but instead do something for yourself. The first thing that I tell people to do for their morning routines is make your bed. This is such an important thing to do and I love it because there's no inherent value in doing it. It's just a cosmetic thing. When you make your bed, what you're doing is you're looking after yourself you're putting the flowers in the vase. It's such an amazing feeling when you connect with it. And if you've had the worst day of your life, you'll come back to a made bed and you'll know that someone loves you and that someone is you. The second thing that you can do is just wash your face, get rid of that shrimp pie in the morning. Get rid of that shrimp pie in the morning. Brush your teeth and then make yourself a tea or coffee. And while you're sipping that tea or coffee, then you can write a little journal. Things that I like to write for my journal, writing three things that I'm grateful for. That brings this feeling of positive energy, of happiness, of the feeling that life is good. Then I write down the negative things that I'm feeling. Maybe I've got some worry in my mind, some anxiety, or maybe I'm holding on to a situation that happened. I listen to myself, I listen to my inner child, and I hear what he needs. And maybe I also realize that I need to look after myself in some way, whether it's eating better, exercise, maybe I need to get an early night. Listening to my inner child is so, so important, especially in times of difficulty, when I'm probably most likely to be self-critical, self-punishing, or attacking myself in some way. Then I cultivate that voice which is empowering and positive and I tell my child what he needs to hear in that moment. Then I write down three things that will make the day great and often those are related to the needs that I have. It's a reason to celebrate the end of the day and it gives you intentional focus for how you want your day to go. The second thing is prioritizing those things, setting clear boundaries for the people around you that this is what you're doing at this time, this is what's important for you. There's a really nice way to think about this that when you think of aeroplanes, they tell you to put your own oxygen mask on before you help others. You have got to have a full tank in order to help others and give your best. The final thing that you can do, which I absolutely love, which is a bit of a peculiar one, is helping other people. When we help other people, we have this feeling that we are strong, that we are able, that we are contributing. It demonstrates to us that we love ourselves and because we are full and we are able, we are able to help other people too. Guys, I hope that helps and I urge you to just choose one of those things to make a change in your life and I promise you that you're gonna start slowly developing that self-esteem that's gonna help you respond to your heart's calling and make life wicked. If you've got any comments, or messages just put it down below or shoot me a message privately we can also do one-on-one -on -one coaching together and I've got an online program coming out in January so look out for that have an amazing day big love get rid of that shrimp pie in the morning